This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good evening, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for October 1, 2023. And in the news this evening, police probing possible love triangle killing in St. Elizabeth. Police are probing the shooting death of a man in burnt ground St. Elizabeth on Sunday, even as reports suggest that the incident is linked to a love triangle. Police named the deceased as Arlanda Blake, 35, otherwise called the Lance, a landsman and resident of Holt District near Santa Cruz. A police report said about 2.15 a.m., Blake visited an address at the Fagan Town burnt ground. While there, he was shot multiple times and taken to hospital. Unconfirmed reports suggest that Blake went to visit his girlfriend's house at a Fagan Town when he was shot allegedly by a licensed firearm holder. Reports suggest that the licensed firearm holder is a businessman and the father of the woman's child. He is also said to be the husband of a former police sergeant. Vendor shot dead at a Kingston Craft Market identified. The vendor who was attacked and shot in Kingston Craft Market has been identified. She is Audrey Hines, 53, former president of the Craft Market Association and the resident of Bogner Close Angels, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. Reports from the Denham Town Police are that at about 3.50 p.m., Hines was in the Craft Market, where she sells her items, when a lone gunman entered and asked for her by name. When she was identified, the man immediately opened a gunfire in her direction. Onlookers alerted lawmen, who upon arrival saw Hines with what appeared to be gunshot wounds. She was rushed to hospital where she was pronounced dead. The incident has sent shockwaves among other eaglers who ply their trade in the area. Investigations are ongoing. Hotel worker dies in motor vehicle accident in Trelawney. A female hotel worker died as a result of injuries she sustained during a motor vehicle accident in Trelawney on Sunday morning. The deceased has been identified as a 30-year-old Janiqua Johnson, affectionately called the KK of Butt of Albertone in the parish. Reports are that about 6.30 a.m., Johnson was on her way to work in a white Toyota Mark X motor car. While traveling along the Hyde Hall main road, the driver was reportedly attempting to negotiate a corner when he lost the control of the vehicle, which plunged into a ditch. All three occupants of the vehicle sustained injuries and were taken to the Falmouth Public General Hospital, where Johnson was pronounced the dead. The other two are still being treated. The Trelawney police are investigating. Farmer accused of attempting to smuggle ganja into Black River lockup charged. A woman was arrested and charged after she reportedly attempted to smuggle ganja into the Black River lockup on Saturday. Charged with possession and dealing in ganja is 30-year-old Shireen Barrett, a farmer of Mountainside, St. Elizabeth. Information received is that Barrett went to the police station to visit a prisoner at the lockups and had several bags of chips and other food items. Checks were made and 81 sticks of ganja were found disguised in the products. Barrett was taken into custody and subsequently charged. She is scheduled to appear before the court on Wednesday, October 4. Slain PNP councillor Ainsley Parkins laid to rest. The People's National Party councillor for the South Bar Division in Portmore, St. Catherine, Ainsley Parkins, was laid to rest on Sunday at the Portmore Seventh day Adventist Church. Parkins was shot and killed within his division on July 20, 2023. According to an eyewitness, Parkins was overseeing a debushing project in the area when a man disguised in a vest as one of the men clipping the foliage approached his parked vehicle and fired bullets in rapid succession. The counselor, who was also known as a Tyson, was rushed to the Spanish Town Hospital where he was pronounced the dead. During the Thanksgiving service, PNP leader Mark Golding called for protection of elected officials who served in areas of high risk. It is a terrible thing that happened, the assassination of an elected official. He was assassinated while working for the people on projects in his division as an elected official. And I have said it before and I will say it again, it is the duty of the state to provide appropriate protection for those who put themselves in danger to serve the people 
risk assessment must be done and appropriate arrangements made to protect them where they are known to be in danger. And this is a situation where, as I understand that Tyson faced certain risk and dangers, Golding said. He went to Prince Parkins for his fearlessness and his attitude towards his work, while expressing condolences to the family of the deceased. Members of the family, we in the PNP family, feel it too. We share your pain. Tyson was a unique individual, as I have said. He was somebody who I had a high regard for because of his commitment, because of his fearlessness, because of the seriousness with which he took his job as a representative of the people, so we honor you today for having lent him to us, Golden added. At the time of his murder, Parkins was the second politician from the division to be murdered in just over a year. In May 2022, Lennox Hines, Jamaica Labour Party Council caretaker for the division, was shot and killed on Marcus Garvey Drive in Kingston. St. Elizabeth Police Recover Stolen Goats The police in St. Elizabeth have recovered three stolen goats in Providence District and have returned them to their owners. An operation was launched this morning after reports were received about the missing goats. The police say timely intelligence and a quick action led to the recovery of the animals. The police noted that there have been increased efforts to crack down on predial larceny in the parish. Residents are urged to remain vigilant and report any suspicious activities to the authorities promptly. Man charged after gun seized in Greenwich Farm A Kingston man has been charged by the police following the seizure of a gun during an operation by members of the Jamaica Defense Force on Saturday in Greenwich Farm. He is 32-year-old Rolando Rainford, otherwise called a JR, and a Bogart, who is charged with possession of prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition. Reports from the Hunts Bay Police are that about 6.50 p.m., a JDF team was on foot patrol in the area of First and Seventh Avenues in the community when they saw Rainford in a manner that aroused their suspicion. He was accosted and searched. According to the police, a 9mm Beretta pistol affixed with a magazine containing 15 9mm rounds was found in his waistband. Rainford was taken to the Hunts Bay Police Station, where he was handed over to the police and the charges laid against him. Grand Spend Woman Abducted and a Shot in the Head A woman was abducted in Grand Spend, St. Andrew, shot in the head and left her for dead on Friday night. The woman, a trainee teacher, was assisted to hospital where she was admitted in serious condition. According to police reports, she had gone to the Grand Spend Police Station to visit a male friend who works there and while outside she was abducted. The woman, who is from the Grand Spend area, was reportedly taken to a location in the St. Andrew South Police Division where she was shot in the head by her abductors. She lay there and played it and them leave her, a source close to the probe told the news. The Grand Spend area has been tense in recent weeks. There was a triple killing last Sunday, which followed a murder and a shooting the day before. A curfew has been imposed in the area as a result of the violence. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.